the quarterfinals of the 2023 Junior League Softball World Series. The knockout rounds commence here just off Lake Washington at Everest Park in Kirkland with Bongo City from the Philippines representing Asia Pacific taking on the West Champs from Marana Little League in Arizona. Hi everybody, Sam Farber here with you. It is as always a pleasure and a privilege to be speaking with you here on ESPN for the Junior League Softball World Series where quarterfinal action is underway right now on our alternate field. Milford, Connecticut champs from the east are up 2-0 on the Canadian champions from Victoria. Later today, Niceville, Florida versus the Czech Republic, Sealy, Texas versus Hudsonville, Michigan. And of course, our game here, all these results will determine the semifinals leading up to Saturday's championship game, which can be seen on ESPN. We're about ready to roll. Let's meet the squads here for this quarterfinal matchup and we'll begin with the young woman in the circle, Abriana Gray, who got her tournament started off with a bang, had a home run in her first game at the plate of the Junior League Softball World Series. And to make it even better, it was her birthday. She turned 15 with a home run. Been a big power bat for this group. You see her numbers solid in the circle. She's one and one ERA at 7.7, three strikeouts and five walks. She's got a tough lineup that she's got to take on here for Bongo City and the Philippines. They've averaged 10 runs per game and went unbeaten through pool play. Leading things off is Froline Manalo. She's hit six of 11 so far in the Junior League Softball World Series. In fact, the lowest batting average for Bongo City and the Philippines is right around 400. They have been very, very potent top to bottom. Christine Jane Caracas will hit second, followed by the first baseman and Diana Buenafe. Erica Arnaiz, the pitcher, will clean up, followed by her battery mate, the catcher, Mary Antoinette Sicapore. Nice Lobrido hits from the sixth spot. Then it's Therese Francine Fuentes, Audrey Sarsona, Daniela Beos, Cassandra Sumatra, and Isel Tanaman. Bago City, a perfect 4 and 0 run through the round robin pool action. And really, it's dominant pitching that has been their hallmark, but their bats, as I mentioned, have been quite skilled all throughout the tournament. Not as much power, but they are just unrelenting in terms of the consistency. Case in point, their last two hitters in the order are a combined at nine for 18, a 500 batting average. That's the end of the batting order. We're ready to go. Froline Manalo will lead things off. Another perfect day here in Kirkland, Washington. First pitch in there for a strike, and we're underway. 80 degrees, sunny skies, a perfect day for softball. Pitch in for a ball. Wind up in the 1-1. Swung on and batted foul right side. First pitch time was 2-0-3 for those tuned in back in the Philippines watching the Asia Pacific Champs. Good morning, 5-0-3 a.m. in Bago City. What better way to start your day? Swing and a foul tip on a good off pitch there from Abriana Gray. A pleasant good afternoon to everyone tuned in back in Arizona as well. On a little league just outside of Tucson. Here's the one two pitch. Bounces in for ball two. Two balls, two strikes to Froline Manalo. She swings, rolls it over to. And Brooke Beck charges, throws, and they're unable to pitch and catch. Safe at first is Manalo with no one out in the top of the first inning. Going to be ruled in air. Runner on board for Christine Jane Caracas. Caracas, four for nine at the plate this week. Aubriana Gray, the pitcher for the West Champs. 
There's Christine Jane Caracas, 444 batting average on base percentage, even higher, 583. Takes high. Swing and a line drive out to right field. That'll fall in for a base hit. Manalo hustling over to second, and she'll throw on the brakes. Two on, nobody out in the first inning. Second place for base number 16, Diana. Marcus raises her batting average to 500. That'll bring up and Diana Buenafe. Third in the order, three runs batted in already in the tournament. Swing and a foul ball up the third base side. Went off A in this team from Bago City in the Philippines. A long journey to get here. 13 hour flight, Manila to LAX. And another three hours to come to Seattle. Ground ball over to third. Brooks Rohel stops on third base. Fielder's choice to get the first out of the contest. Well played at the hot corner. Had to make a quick decision with Manalo hustling in behind her. But she is up to the challenge, one gone. Good decision to get the lead runner. Coach Rohel. Strong Arizona defense over the course of four games of pool play. They committed nine errors, but only one of them in the last two games. So they've been getting stronger as the week's gone on. Erica Arnais, the pitcher, is at the plate, showing bunt, pulls it back, slaps it to the left side, scooped up and short by Sayer, toss across is in time, and there's out number two. <laughs> Runners advance to second and third, but now two away. Batter is Mary Antoinette Sicabore. Sicabore four for nine this week with five RBI. Two in scoring position for her here. First pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. Gray rocks and fires. Off speed offering, got her out in front. Nice pitch. Two-strike offering, waits for this one, rolls it to third. Brooks Rohel will make the play, and the side is retired. No runs, one hit, one air, two stranded. Arizona to the plate after this. First spot in the semis, round robin action wrapped up yesterday. If there was an MVP of the round robin portion of this week, it would have to be Philippines starting pitcher Erica Arnais. She was absolutely lights out all four contests. She started three in the circle, finished with a 3-0 record, a 0.38 ERA. She allowed one earned run in 18 and a third innings, 40 strikeouts, seven walks. These are video game numbers, but only if you're on the easy setting. Arna is going to try and pick up where she left off. Now in the knockout rounds, it's win or go home. Bago City in the Philippines, unbeaten thus far, and Arna has been far and away the best pitcher so far this week. Let's take a look at the lineup she'll face today from Marana, Arizona. Bella Brooks Rohel will lead things off. Her baseman hitting 429 this week, and it's Bella Sayer. Cadence Beck, who is six for her last seven at the dish, including a home run. Kyla Layton has a home run to her ledger as well. She'll hit in the cleanup spot. And it's Brooke Beck, Addie Angel, Malia Mills, Abriana Gray, Addie Lee, Emma Winter, Adelaide Bradshaw, and Mariah Moreno. This Arizona lineup averaging seven and a half runs per game, and they pack the most punch of any team in the tournament. Several players have struck home runs over the course of the week, including Ambriana Gray, who's got two of them. So this is a team that can 
catch up in a hurry. Getting things off. Bella Brooks Rohel trying to get Arizona off to a good start. First pitch, swing and a miss. Strike one. Nice with 40 strikeouts, seven walks this week. She is going to be in attack mode. Does not mess around, comes right after the hitters. Hole one from the lefty, swung on and miss. No balls and two strikes. A lot of ways, this is a really good matchup because Arnaiz, she's a power pitcher. These are power hitters on the other side. 0-2, pitcher wins this round. Strike three swinging. Down by way of the K for the first out of the day. Arnaiz, 41 strikeouts in 18 and two-thirds innings. That means there have only been 14 non-strikeouts when she's been in the circle. Bella Sayer is next up. She will take low, ball one. Sayer's scored four runs this tournament. one -oh wind up and delivery. Check swing and it's high, two balls, no strikes. Sayer's dad, Jim, works at the University of Arizona. Mom, Tara, is a teacher. Two younger siblings, Adeline James, three actually, Adeline James and Kinley. Two balls and one strikes. Gar nice. Perfect thus far. And at the 2023 Junior League Softball World Series. 2-1 is swung on and missed, strike two. on the outside corner for out number two. Our eyes actually fell behind in a count, still rallies right back. Two strikeouts the first two batters. Cadence Beck is next. Beck, one of those hitters with that home run pop for the West Champs from Arizona. First pitch, she'll take a strike. Beck, seven for 11 at the plate for the home run and last couple games. She has really been a hot bat, six for her last seven. A one, swings and misses, strike two. and fires, swung on and missed, strike three. She strikes out the side to start the quarterfinals in the circle. Arizona down in order, one, two, three, all by way in the game. Bongo City back to the plate, scoreless ties. We head to the second. Fans of the Philippines enjoying the show so far. Erica Arnaiz in the circle, three up, three down, all with strikeouts. She continues to be strong in the circle for the Philippines. The Philippines tends to have a lot of fan support here in addition to those that travel with the team. A strong Filipino community here in the greater Seattle area and they turn out and show up and support this team which finished pool play atop their pool with a 4 and 0 record. They won pool A. Wins over Canada, Florida, and Michigan along the way. Leading off here in the second, it is nice Labrito. First pitch swung on and knocked over to short. Sayer charges and she'll make the play. One pitch, one out here in the second. Abriana Gray's defense showing up behind her. Nice play by Sayer, as I mentioned. Defensively, they have only made two errors now. Today's included in the last two plus games. So they have really been playing well defensively and limiting opportunities for the opposition. Therese Francine Fuentes, first pitch swinging, fouls it left side. 
Fuentes hitting 333, four runs batted in, three runs scored. Pitches outside for a ball. Francine is the manager's daughter. Francis Fuentes. There he is. One ball, one strike. Swing and a fly ball left side. Addie Lee hustling over, but not going to be able to get there in time. Also, the shortstop, Bella Sayer, giving it a look. Count is one and two. Went as one of the team leaders. One ball, two strikes. One, two bounces in, two balls, two strikes. Gray rocks and fires, 2-2 two -two off speed pitch, got her swinging, ball got away. Fuentes didn't notice it at first and doesn't realize it in time. Throw to first is on the money, K-2-3 for the second out of the inning. Now for Pacific, third base number eight, Audrey Nice job by Kyla Layton to pounce there and take advantage of the strikeout, first pitch, check swing. They'll appeal, and she didn't go around. Audrey Sarsona is the batter. Sarsona, seven for 12 this week. Four runs batted in, four runs scored. Swings and misses, one and one. Mentioned the worst batting average on the team through the round robin was 333. His team can hit. 1-1, one, one. swung on and missed. Right now, Abriana Gray has her eight game going. She's retired five in a row and has two strikes to Sarsona, the pitch. Off speed is called a strike. Down by way of the K to retire the side. Six in a row retired by Abriana Gray. Got the makings of a pitcher's duel early here in Kirkland. Another perfect day here in the great Northwest. Blue skies, green grass, a beautiful day for softball in Kirkland, Washington, home of the Junior League Softball World Series. Do you want your child to experience the teamwork and fun of Little League baseball or softball? Just visit playlittleleague.org and enter your address. You can find a Little League community program near you. Diamond, the dish, everything in tip-top shape. Great grounds crew here from the city of Kirkland keeping all the fields at this facility in the best of conditions and even brought the best weather we could have asked for as well. Again, 80 degrees and first pitch time here in Kirkland. Up to a beautiful site and this will be the field that the championship game will be played on on Saturday. Philippines as a pool champion, certainly a favorite, but this Arizona squad has been playing better and better as the tournament has worn on. Her starter, Abriana Gray, clearly on her A game, having retired six in a row and struck out the last two last inning. Plus, defensively, they've been getting better and better as the tournament has worn on, and several hot hitters heading into today's knockout round. Got to try and Solve Erica Arnaz in the circle. Kyla Layton is the batter. Swing and a miss, 0-2. Kyla, five for eight this week with a home run. Four RBIs. Also, Blue Angels are going to be having a show here in the greater Seattle area this weekend, so anticipating a couple of flyovers. They missed the anthem time, but we get them in the game. Meanwhile, at the plate, strike out number four for Erica Arnaz. She just pounds away at the zone. First inning, she threw 11 total pitches, nine for strikes. She does not mess around. Brooke Beck is the batter. 
first pitch bunted back towards the circle, picked up by our nice second baseman covering, and they work it out. Fuentes hustling over for a 1-4 put out. Very well done by Therese Francine Fuentes to hustle over to first. Well fielded by Eric Arnai. So the first non-strikeout of the game. Of course, Arnai's had her hand in that one as well. So two gone. Batter is Addie Angel. Hitting 700 this week. First pitch, swing and a foul ball. It is 0-1. Angel, in addition to hitting 700 overall this week, is six for her last seven. Yo, one pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. They're taking really good swings here. Not timid, they're taking their full hacks, the Arizona champions are. It's just Arnaiz has been that good, and she has been all week. 0-2, oh, swing and a miss, strike three. Chalk up another K for Erica Arnaiz. Five of the six outs by strikeout. We're scoreless at the end of two. No score heading to the third inning. Knockout rounds have begun at the Junior League Softball World Series. Sam Farber with you, glad to have you with us here at the 2023 Junior League Softball World Series. Kirkland, Washington and Everest Park, home of this event since 1999. Bayo Sumatra and Tunneman do up for Bago City in the Philippines. Now Brianna Gray has been pitching very well. She's retired six in a row in the circle. Daniela Bayos will be the batter. First pitch takes high. Ball and no strikes. Bayo's favorite athlete, Javier Baez. Come on, baby, you got this. The 1 0 swing and a ground ball over to second. Good job. Brooke Beck makes it look easy. That's seven in a row retired by Arizona. Sandra Sumatra coming up next. This Arizona team, they're very loose out there. Every team gets a 10 minute allotment for warmups. First pitch bunted foul at the plate by Sumatra. And most of them have their routines. They'll go through infield, outfield drills, whatever is kind of their normal routine. But Arizona, they've mixed it up. They play volleyball during their warmup out on the outfield. The 0 1 is outside. Coaching staff told us that it started in the regional rounds. There was a lightning delay. The team had already taken a loss. They were trailing. They were on the verge of elimination. And because of the lightning, they couldn't be out on the field, so they were indoors. 1 1 pitches inside, two balls, one strike. And a lot of the girls are multi sport athletes, and a lot of them play volleyball. So they had a volleyball out, and they're hitting it around. And lo and behold, they come back and win. And now it's become part of their pregame routine. Here's the 2 2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Strikeout number three for Abriana Gray. She had three in her first. A couple of appearances total in this tournament, but she's got three today against one of the better hitting teams of the tournament. Two gone in the third inning. That is eight straight retired by Gray. Marcel Tonneman is next. Tonneman hitting 400, five RBIs, three runs. She is also an ace pitcher for this Philippines team. 1-0 pitch is high, 2-0. Oh. Hear the Blue Angels somewhere overhead. Oh. 
Two balls, no strikes. Here's the pitch. Outside ball three. Leadoff hitter for Oline Manolo is two up next. Three zero skips in outside ball four. First walk issued today by Abriana Gray. I'll bring back Froline Manolo. Manolo. Coaches say she is a road runner. Speedster out there on the base pass. Reached on an air the first time. Grounds it over to second. Handled by Beck. Toss to first in time. That'll end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. One left on a good old-fashioned pitcher's duel here in the quarterfinals of the Junior League Softball World Series. Weekend show here in the greater Seattle area. You anticipate a few more flyovers over the course of the next couple of days as part of the festivities here at the Junior League Softball World Series. Good one to tip off the quarterfinals. Philippines, a Pool champion, unbeaten so far here at the Junior League Softball World Series, taking on an Arizona team that went one and three but played some of their strongest games down the stretch. And right now it's a scoreless tie as we go to the bottom half of the third inning. Our nice is not allowed a base runner. Six up, six down, five strikeouts. All told this week, she has 45 strikeouts in 20 and a third innings. First up is Malia Mills. Mills two for eight this week. A one swung on and missed, 0 and two. And a little league just outside of Tucson, representing the Western champs. They are in the light blue uniforms, Asia Pacific champions. Bago City in the Philippines in the gold uniforms with green trim. The one, two, in there for a cold strike three. Six strikeouts today for Art Eyes. The pitcher is the batter for the West. Number 14, Aubrey Gray. Still no one has reached safely against the Philippine starter. Lefty will take on her counterpart now, Aubriana Gray, to the plate. Gray, two of her three hits this week are home runs. First pitch, she will take a strike. A one, swing and a miss, strike two. She continues to just live in the zone. Odds yes to the side, 0-2 pitch, fouled off. And some pitchers more often change speeds. Arnaz just goes after another fastball and another swing and a miss for strike three. Seven Ks in two and two thirds innings. She is the cheat code. She was outstanding all throughout pool play and she looks even better right now. Addie Lee is next. First pitch outside. His parents, Ben and Rachel. Wind up and the pitch, swing and a miss. Count is now one and one. Big fan of the Green Bay Packers. One-one pitch is high, two and one. 
This is, I believe, just the second batter Arnaz has thrown two outside the zone to. Swing and a liner right to the second baseman. Fuentes, she'll put it away for out number three. Nine up, nine down, no scores. We head to the fourth. Hill from Ballora, Maryland, home plate umpire. Tom Gutierrez from Bannon, Texas on third base side. Elmer Margarita not dancing. Willemstad, Curacao. And Ron Signore from Illinois is behind second base. Our great all-volunteer umpire and crew, although very much professionals, many of them will work professionally through high school and some college seasons, but they give their time to Little League to support these young women and kids all across the country and get rewarded for being some of the very best by participating in events just like this one here in Kirkland, Washington. After three innings, we are scoreless. Arizona, no runs, no hits, one air, no one left on. Philippines, no runs, one hit, no airs. They've stranded three. Leading off here in the fourth, it's Christine Jane Caracas. She has the game's only hit right now. Waits on the off-speed pitch and takes in the dirt, 2-0. and oh. She ended up getting stranded at second base. Since her hit, Abriana Gray has retired nine of the last ten she's faced. Swing and a line drive, base hit to right center field. Just over the outstretched arms of Brooke Beck. Two for two start at the plate for Christine Jane Caracas. Andeana Buenafe is next. Rounded out to the third baseman. Fielder's choice in her first plate appearance. Takes a strike, it's 0-1. Coaches say she is a perfectionist. Favorites include Bruno Mars. A one shows bunt and she'll chop it down the first baseline. This is gonna be a tough play. The toss to first, not in time. Hustling all the way over to third, sliding in safely is Caracas. Throw gets away, she's gonna score. It's a one nothing lead for the Philippines. It's a single and an air on the throw. And the Philippines breaks through. Excellent bunt laid down by Buena Fe. We're gonna be late to first no matter what, then the throw to third to try and get Caracas get away. So single and an air. And now another bunt laid down. Throw's gonna go to first. It gets away too, everybody's safe. And two runs have scored now for the Philippines. Erica Arnais putting the ball in play. We'll see what that last one is scored. That's gonna be an error on the last one. So that's back-to-back -back errors now. Committed by Arizona, who had been so strong defensively. Rock is a leadoff single. Buenafe, a bunt single plus an air that allowed her to get to third and Caracas to come in, and now a second air. And it's 2 nothing for the Philippines. Of course, you got our eyes in the circle who has been far and away the best pitcher in the tournament. She's yet to allow a base runner. She's yet to reach a three ball count. And she has seven strikeouts through nine batters. Sikapore swings, skies it to center. It's going to go over the center fielder's head all the way to the warning track. Runners at second and third after the double. And the Philippines is in business here. Not 
something she could handle and sent it deep towards the outfield wall. Opportunity for the Philippines to expand its lead. First pitch swing, a grounder by Lobrito right side. Backhand flip to first is in time for an out. But the run scores now, throw back to third. That's in time, it's a double play. An RBI ground out, four to three for Lebrito, and then three to five to pick off Sikapore. Still though, three runs across for the Philippines. Bases are empty. Check out this play here. Brooke Beck, not an easy one. She's got to move quite a distance and then backhand flip it to first. Nicely done. And Cadence Beck, her sister, alertly tossing across the diamond to get the second out. Therese Francine Fuentes is the batter. Second baseman for the Philippines who has a three nothing lead. Eight in a row, and nine out of ten had been retired successfully for Arizona. Philippines just kept on coming. This inning, the first four batters reach base safely, and the first five did something positive at the plate. The last batter, Labrito, getting an RBI ground down. 2-2 Two -two is outside, ball three. Says 0 for 1 today. Swings and chops it to the left side. Sayer charges, fires, got her. Bang, bang play to end the inning, but Sayer had the throw there in time. Three runs across for the Philippines. They've got the lead here in the quarterfinals. Philippines leading 3-0, no, not rain here in the great Northwest. Got to find some shade where you can. One of the warmer days that we've had here, although checking out some of the temperatures and some of the other sites, there's no bad place for a Little League championship, but there isn't one better than Kirkland, Washington, as we enjoy another beautiful day here just off the shores of Lake Washington. 3-0 the score, Philippines breaking through in the top half of the fourth inning. Good base running and taking advantage of a couple of miscues to give their starter a 3-0 advantage. The huddle ritual, hands together, toss the ball in the air, and Renaz will toe the slab. She has been perfect so far, nine up, nine down with seven strikeouts. Emma Winter is the batter. First pitch, she squares to bunt, and did she offer at it? They say no. Close, but Winter got the bat back in time. Winter has scored a couple of runs so far this week. Favorite movie, the Barbie movie. Swings and misses, it's one and one. Barbie movie, of course, starring your favorite actress, Margot Robbie. Also a big fan of the U of A, that'd be the University of Arizona, I presume. Shows bunt, that time she did offer, that's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Get some new signals in. Third base coach's manager, Sam Mills. Which is swung on and fouled off. Sam Mills sporting the rally stash. The coaches, many of them had beards, but they told the girls, you make it to the World Series, we're going rally stashes. So, excellent facial hair all the way around for Team Arizona, excellent. One, two, chop foul. <laughs> 
one two pitch called strike three. Strikeout number eight today for Erica Arnaiz in the circle. That makes 48 strikeouts in 21 and two thirds innings. For her, a bad innings where she only has two. I should say bad. An off pace inning. Next up, Adelaide Bradshaw. Inning 333 this week. First pitch, checks her swing, takes high and wide. Ball one. Bradshaw, three for nine. A couple of runs scored. Also a couple of stolen bases. Western champs still looking for their first base runner of the game. Caught the inside corner. She was up on top of the plate, and it's one and one. And eyes in the circle. The left-hander has only given up one earned run all week. 1-1 one, one pitch. Swung on and missed strike two. And what's more, the Philippines started her in three of their four games through the round robin portion of the tournament. Had a double header on opening day. Pitch swung on and fought off. The one game she didn't start, it was Isel Toneman in the circle, and she threw a perfect game. Four innings, she struck out eight. No one reached pace safely. So, Philippines, needless to say, loaded in the circle. Another swing and a miss, and that is strikeout number nine for Arnaiz. Two away. Brings up Mariah Moreno. Mariah, born in California, moved to Arizona. She's a big fan of the LA Clippers as well as the LA Angels. First pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two. <laughs> 11 up and 11 down for Philippine starter Erica Arnaiz. Wind up and the pitch. Swung on and missed, strike three. That's strikeout number 10. Arnaiz, perfect through four. Philippines with a 3 nothing lead here in the quarterfinals of the Junior League Softball World Series. Arnaiz, a 10K performance. Are able to sort things out a little bit more efficiently. At worst, maybe one run comes across. Maybe none, but that was not the fate. And even though they're down 3 nothing, if they can continue to keep control of the Philippines offense, they are by no means out of it. The best power hitting team throughout the week has been the West Champs from Arizona. They've got multiple home run hitters, so they are far from out of this one as we head to the fifth. Andre Sarsona is the batter, the third baseman. Struck out in her first plate appearance. Still hitting well above 500 on the week. First pitch, swings and rolls it over to first. Beck's gonna pick it up, apply the tag. One pitch, one out. Here in the top of the fifth inning. Daniela Beos is next. Beos, another fan of Javier Baez, her favorite team, the Chicago Cubs. Favorite book, The Dictionary. It says that for good luck, softball superstition, for a game, she puts a coin in her pocket. I don't think it's luck, I think it's skill, but might not want to change coins. Philippines has been unbeaten and has looked unbeatable. So far here at the Junior League Softball World Series. Two balls and no strikes. Bayos grounded out to second in her first plate appearance. Wind up and the pitch. Off speed offering and did she go around? Yes, she did. Two and one. Two balls, one ball. 
Swing and a foul ball left side. Count evens up at two and two. That one ends up on top of the dugout. Third base side. Brianna Gray. Wheels and deals. Swing and a line drive, base hit to left field. Fifth hit of the contest for the Philippines. Hands it over to Cassandra Sumatra. Junior League softball level. This is one age group up from the Little League World Series in Williamsport. First pitch bunted, and it's going to roll foul. Good job there by Kyla Layton to wait for it to hop over the line. We've got quite a few teams here who their league is making a return trip to either the Junior League Softball World Series or last year this particular core of a team played in Greenville, North Carolina, and now is here. Pitch inside, throw to second, pops loose, and safe at second with a stolen base is Baos. That throw appeared in time to get her. But as the tag was applied, it popped up and out of the glove. And you can see she, the, the knee coming up through the slide assisted, but it never quite looked like she had it completely in hand. And now Beos is getting some attention. She slid into second there. This Philippines team unbeaten so far. They had the long journey to Kirkland. And it's been a lot of fun to see the camaraderie between the two teams. And it starts right from the second they get off the plane, literally talking to the West coaches. They said the first team we met when we got here was the Philippines. They happened to be landing at about the same time. So they met each other at the gate. Had team photos taken together, the Philippines and the Arizona champs together. Kind of a fun moment. And now here they are going head to head in the quarterfinals. Speaking of airports, Sumatra, dream job, flight attendant. Swing, and that one's gonna get through to the outfield on the right side, rounding third, heading for home as Bayos throw home, not in time. Four runs across now for the Philippines. An RBI single for Sumatra, her sixth RBI of the tournament. Getting extended. And just outside the range. The Philippines bolsters its advantage now, 4 0. Marcel Tunneman. I'm in the alternate pitcher as well for the Philippines, who all she's done is have a perfect game. Pitch in the dirt, and the runner's going to advance. Runner in scoring position, one out. Tanaman shows bunt, pulls back. There's the runner, Sumatra. Picked up her sixth run batted in. She's hitting 600 now this week. Tanaman. Bunts it up in the air, and a nice catch made by Kyla Layton. That ball was spinning and seemed destined to go over her head, but she stretches for it for the second out of the inning. So tall, it's out of the picture. The pitcher knew how tough that was, Abriana Gray. Props for her catchers. We go back to the top of the order. Throw line, Manalo is the batter. 0 for 2 today. Arizona's offense really strong, but don't want to fall any further behind here. Swing and a pop-up on the diamond. Sayer makes the catch. That is all for the Philippines in the top half of the fifth inning.
One run, two hits, no air. Uh, Middle of the fifth, four nothing Philippines. Our nice. She's got 10 strikeouts. She's retired 12 in a row, and we're back to the top of the order with Bella Brooks Rohel. First pitch, swung on and missed, strike one. And if you haven't been keeping up with us all week, you might be thinking, huh, 12 retired, and we're back to the top of the order. It's new in 2023. The continuous batting order has really been a great addition to Little League. Essentially, you take a lot of the guesswork out for the coaches. There, there were so many rules about mandatory play and who got in and players coming and going on and off the bench to satisfy those rules. 0-2 popped up. See Capore, the catcher, will make the play for out number one. Bella Sayer coming up next. Anyways, now with the continuous lineup, everyone has their spot in the order. The result, everyone is getting more at-bats top to bottom throughout the lineup. There's no guesswork on, all right, am I gonna get one at bat today or when am I gonna get up to the plate? It's, you have your spot and defensively, you can just focus on your defense. Who needs to be where at whatever time? Sayer lays down a bunt, bare hand pickup at third by Sarsona, throw to first is in time. Now 14 in a row retired. Sayer is a speedster, so that play had to be perfect, and it was. Sarsona, the bare hand pickup. Four out number two. Cadence Beck is next. Three home run hitters this week for Marana, Arizona. Beck seven for 12 including her 0 for 1 effort today. But even with that 0 for 1, she's six for her last eight at the plate. Takes a strike at the knees, it's 0 and 2. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a foul ball. Cadence, the elder of the two Beck sisters. She'll be a freshman at Marana, Marana High School. Sister Brooks gonna be at Marana Middle School. Go two, high, one ball, two strikes. This is going to be the first inning with less than two strikeouts for Erica Arnaiz in the circles. Not sure she's going to mind. She's been perfect through four and two thirds. The one two pitch, down the way. Nice catch off the carom by the catcher, Sikapore. Doesn't count, but style points. One, two, pitch. Call strike three. 11 are nice. Through five innings, it's been 15 up, 15 down. Philippines leads 4-0. Philippines leading as we head to the sixth inning. You can see the Blue Angels getting sent for a weekend show. Only thing more entertaining than them so far this week, Erica Arnaiz in the circle. She has been outstanding. She's been very popular on social media. We encourage you to find Little League on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok at the official handles at Little League. And don't forget to use the hashtag LLWS. They've been using a lot of fire emojis for Erica Arnaiz in the circle. She has perhaps the makings of her best effort yet, and that is saying something. Coming into today, she had allowed one earned run in 18 and a third innings, 3-0, 0.38 ERA, 40 strikeouts against seven walks. Today, she has been perfect through five, and her offense has given her four runs of support. We'll see if they can add on any more. Here in the top of the six, Caracas, Buenafe, and Arnides do up this inning. First pitch is in for a strike. Definitely worthy of some praise. Our counterpart in the circle, Abriana Gray, she has really been strong. Swinging a rip foul up 
the first baseline. It's 0-2 now to Caracas. This Bago City Philippines team is averaging 10 runs per game. They've been held to four, and really a couple of errors helped their cause early getting on the board. The entire team was hitting over 400 collectively coming into the knockout rounds, and Gray has scattered six hits over five innings. She has really been good in the circle. She has three strikeouts of her own. Ground ball right side, that's a base hit. Caracas three for three in this quarterfinal. It's off the six with the single. Caracas is now hitting over 400 in the Junior League Softball World Series. And Diana Buenafe is the batter, and she'll take ball one. Buenafe singled and scored last time up. Her fourth run of the tournament. Coaches say she is a perfectionist. short by Sayer, and they'll double off the runner at first. You can make that too. <laughs> Barely had to maneuver to get in front of that one. Just get your glove up. Sayer makes the grab. And a strong throw to first for the double play. Two gone, that brings up the pitcher, Erica Arnaiz. That was one of the four runs so far today for the Philippines. And has been tremendous in the circle. in the circle by Aubriana Gray. Able to reach out and retire her counterpart. Still 4-0, Philippines going to the bottom of the sixth. Day, once again, the same story. It's been all tournament long. Erica Arnaiz in the circle for the Philippines. She has gone unscathed. 15 up, 15 down. 11, count them 11. By way of the king, we count it. Here's them all. All 11 strikeouts, and she's still got two more innings potentially of work in the circle. She's been the ace of the tournament. In 23 and a third innings pitch, she has struck out 51. And a big part of the reason why the Philippines is unbeaten thus far. And I mentioned a couple times before, but it's worth repeating the other, other, air quotes, pitcher I sell to Naman. She threw a perfect game in her start, so I guess our eyes has to catch up. I don't think she's done that yet. Right now she's in line and doing it in a knockout game. First up in the sixth is Kyla Layton. Dangerous hitter, she's got a home run this week, and that pitch hitter, it did. First base runner of the game for Arizona. Got her on the arm. So the leadoff batter aboard, so no perfect game. And yep, caught her on that left forearm. They will check on her. And as is the tradition for the West champs, you get on base, you get Skittles. Plus, very good rally stash over at first base. Just excellent stuff. You missed it before. Arizona, the coaching staff, most of them used to have beards. But the girls made the Little League World Series. So, rally stashes. There you go. The manager, Sam Mills. Coaches Chris Beck, Jason Angel. Yeah. 
several of the parents apparently also went with the rally stash as well. Great support from Miranda, Arizona's Little League just outside of Tucson. A two pitch, swung on and missed, strike three. Brooke Beck retired by way of the K. That's 12 strikeouts now for our eyes. Addie Angel is next. Six for her last eight at the plate. Swing and a foul ball. Arizona getting its first base run. Ella Layton standing over at first. One swung on and missed, it's 0-2. Angel's favorite food is seafood boil. Right part of the country for one of those. Angel steps in. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. That's 13 Ks on the day. 13 Ks out of 17 reported outs. There hasn't been a ball to the outfield yet against the Philippine starter. Two ground outs, two pop outs, 13 strikeouts for the ace representing Asia Pacific. Malia Mills now the batter. Swings and fouls it away, it's 0-2. His favorite baseball team, the Texas Rangers. Favorite movie, Top Gun Maverick. Swing and a miss, strike three. After Arnaiz hit the first batter of the inning, she struck out the next three on nine pitches. Four nothing, Philippines. We love our house. It's on a great block, tree line street. She gave up four hits, no earned runs, and struck out 15. After that, her next performance, six and a third, gave up an earned run on seven hits and three walks, struck out 14 in a win over Canada. Her most recent game was a five inning one hitter where she walked four and struck out 11. But this thus far is her best effort yet, six innings. No runs, no hits, no walks, one hit batter. She has struck out 14. Her offense has given her a 4 0 lead. They'll try and add to that total here in the top half of the seventh. Mary Antoinette Sicapore is the batter. She is one for two with a double, it's her third double of the tournament. Ended up getting picked off at third base. That fourth inning. Swings and fouls it off, 0-2. Tons of credit to Abriana Gray in the circle for Arizona. She has really pitched well. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap or your visor. And Philippine Star's been just that good, but Gray's been right there. Comes up with an off-speed pitch for a called strike three. Strikeout number four. For Abriana Gray. One out, nice Lobredo is next. Stepping into the batter's box is shortstop number 17, nice Lobredo. Had an RBI last time up. Was her second of the tournament. Dream job, love to be a veterinarian. Swing and a rocket out to center field. Nice adjustment, though, by Emma Winter. She puts it away for the second out. There's Francine Fuentes is next. 
Now batting second base number 12, Francine Pointer. Fuentes into the box, looking down to her dad, Francis Fuentes, the manager. First pitch, takes a bouncer for ball one. Fuentes 0 for 2. Swing and a bouncer to second. Beck charges, and she'll make the play. It's a 1-2-3. Top half of the seventh for Abriana Gray. She's pitched very well, but Arnaiz on the other side is going for perfection with a 4 0 lead. <laughs> Philippines ace Erica Arnaiz in six innings. She has allowed one base runner. She hit a batter last inning, otherwise perfect. No runs, no hits. No walks, just the one hit batter, and she has struck out 14. There hasn't been a ball hit to the outfield yet against her. And she looks to send the Philippines into the semifinals. Not been a lot to do outside of warmups for the outfielders. They're ready if called upon. But so far, it's been the Eric Arnaz show just like it has been all week long. 4-0 the score. Champs from the Western Region, Arizona, need four to tie here in the home half of the seventh. Abriana Gray will lead off the pitcher for Arizona who has really pitched well. She went the full seven innings, giving up three earned runs, four total on seven hits and a walk, struck out four. Brought her A game to the quarterfinals. She's behind in the count at the plate, 0 and 2. She does have home run power. She celebrated her birthday on opening day of the Junior League Softball World Series with a home run. 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. That is 15 strikeouts for Arnaz and 55 total this week. 24 and two thirds innings. She's had that result 55 times. Absolutely unbelievable. Next up, Emma Winter who made a nice catch in center field. Check that, sorry, Addie Lee, the batter. Addie Lee, the left fielder, is at the plate. My apologies. Caught the outside corner for a strike. With that 15th strikeout for Arnaz, this is now her highest total for strikeouts in a performance so far. Foul ball to the right. Arnaz in the opener. A four to one win over Florida. Went the distance, gave up four hits, no walks, one unearned run. She struck out 15 in that one. She also has a 14 strikeout performance. She's got 15 here today. One ball, two strikes. To Addie Lee. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. It's a new high strikeout count for Erica Arnaz. That is 16, including the last five batters in order. And the Philippines is one out away from a spot in the semifinal. Emma Winter is the batter. Squares the bunt and misses it. Favorite subject in school, sign language. And Winter with an 0-1 count against her. Arn eyes, wheels and deals, misses high, one and one. 
Everything really snapping into place for our eyes. As good as she has been all week, this has been her best performance of the tournament. The 1-1. One, one. Called strike two. And now the Philippines is one strike away from the semifinal. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, and that'll do it. A no-hitter sends the Philippines into the semifinals. A 17 strikeout performance from the left-hander, Erica Arnais. She was untouchable today, only a hit batter, the only runner that got aboard. She strikes out 17 and goes the distance in a 4-0 win for the Philippines. We'll play tomorrow in the semifinals for a spot in Saturday's championship game. Four runs, seven hits, no errors, four left on for the Philippines. No runs, no hits, three errors, one stranded for Arizona. Eric Arnais, 4-0 on the tournament. A 17 strikeout performance in the win. Offensive MVP Christine Jane Caracas, who went three for three with a run score. We've got more quarterfinal action for you coming up later today here from the Junior League Softball World Series. Hope you'll join us then and tomorrow for the semis, in addition to Saturday for the final. Till next time, for everyone here, I'm Sam Farber saying it's been a pleasure, a privilege having you along. Philippines onto the semis after Eric R. 17 strikeout shutout.